Alright, I'm going to look at some elders today. Um, how to grow them from seed, pretty easy. Um, three different kinds of in growing. There's black, there's a black there, and a red. And the other popular one here is Italian. Um, I'll have a look at some seedlings, some bigger seedlings outside at the end. Um, good trees in New Zealand, especially for wetter ground or infertile ground or reclaiming waste ground. Um, fast growing and they do well in in um, wet areas. So have a look first at um, collecting the seeds. Uh, over here you can generally collect the cones. Uh, the cones ripen up sort of um, late autumn, early winter, so um, have a look here on a tree to look for. They often hold the the new cones and the old previous year's empty cones together on the branches, so you want to look for the ones that are still closed or already just opening up. So the ones that are fully open and black, they're, they're long gone, the seeds will be gone. You want the ones that are still either green or just turning brown or, or just starting to open up. You'll see between the scales, they're just starting to open. So I'll pick a few of those. There's quite a lot of seeds in each one, so you don't need a, a ton of them, depending on how many you want to grow. Um, and I will put them in a paper bag like this and leave them somewhere sunny and dry and warm for a week or two. Um, this being midwinter, so inside, um, somewhere warm. And I usually leave them in a window or something where the sun's on them and give them a while and they should open up. So we'll tip these out and have a look. So, getting closer here. So these are Italian elders, those, those trees I showed you at the start, those are Italian elders. Um, Italian elders here tend to hold their leaves a bit longer than the others. And pretty easy to identify, their leaves are quite distinctive. So, But all the cones look pretty similar. Um, you can see here that the scales are just starting to open up. And these, when I first picked them, were quite green. Um, not sure if you could see in that earlier video, but these are browned up quite a bit just from being sitting around. So those scales are opening up. So you can see the odd seed here. You see what the seeds look like. Flat. A couple of millimetres across. Um, so basically winged. They'll uh, be carried by the wind. So there's a couple that started falling out. Another one there. So what I'd normally do next is just give them a whack. And you'll see oh, yep, plenty more coming out there now. So if you keep banging that, or put them in a sealed container and give it a good shake, you'll probably find a oh, yep, small coming out there. So keep whacking away at that, you'll end up with quite a few seeds. So there we go. So that's what the seeds look like. There are slight differences between different species. Uh, like I say, those are Italian. But um, if you put them side by side with the black ones, the common elder, uh, Alnus glutinosa, not a huge difference. I think it's probably just the colour. The black elders are a bit browner. These are sort of um, silvery to look at. So yeah, so you should be able to collect those throughout throughout winter. Really, they they hold on the tree um, right through to the following season. But of course, come spring they'll start opening up and releasing their seeds. So what we're doing by keeping them in the warmer inside is just speeding that process up a bit. Cool, so we're going to look at planting. Um, let's give you a quick look. It's really straightforward. I always do them in the spring. So it's early spring. They don't need any stratification or treatment. Um, I just sprinkle them lightly over top of potting soil or seed raising soil. They're not too fussy. And then just a really, really light covering of um, seed raising mix. And they're not small enough that you really have to worry too much. They're just, just a really light covering. and. Um, moisten and leave them outside. Um, I just put them somewhere shady so they don't dry out. They won't really dry out if it's early spring or late winter and come spring. You should get pretty fast germination in a couple of weeks. And I've got one here that I just have in a pot inside to 
So I'll quickly show you. So this is what the small seedlings look like. Let's get this to focus. There we go. So you can see the um, cotyledons there at the bottom, the seed leaves. And that's what they'll look like more or less when they come up. Little rounded um, seed leaves. And then later on, this, what you see in front of you there is probably, what would that be, two centimetres high, and that's probably, after a month or so, I guess you could expect them to look like that outside. Um, planted in a tray or something. This one I've just, just some that I happen to put in a pot by the window so it hasn't really grown, but that's, that's more or less what you can expect them to look like. Um, all the seedlings look pretty similar at that stage, no matter what species you're growing, so you can see the sort of, um, the true leaves are, are notched. Yeah. <clears throat> so those will rapidly grow over summer. Um, you can either pop them up individually or I have grown them in large trays, quite deep trays, and then just leave them to pull out bare rooted the following winter. So by the following winter, um, I'll show you some one year old plants. And I've got uh, examples here of black elder, which have lost all their leaves. This is midwinter, this is July in New Zealand, Southern Hemisphere. Some black elders completely lost their leaves. They've got quite distinct buds, sort of blacky, purplish buds. Um, red elders also lost their leaves, but have quite distinctly red buds. And then there's Italian elders, which often retain their leaves for quite a lot longer. Um, and you see they've got sort of yellowish buds. The, Italian elders won't grow as much in that first season, but the others, the common elders, and the red elders can get quite big. The ones I've got in um, two pint bags here are probably a good 50 or 60 centimetres high, so you can end up with quite a decent sized um, seedling in, in uh, the space of under a year, and basically ready to plant out. Whether you have them in pots or whether you grow them um, bare root, 